Hey, Go Motor Bears. This is Russ Dickey, Director of Marketing here at, uh, at GMB. And most of you guys who are regular customers of ours or have watched the videos know that I'm the resident uh, Ford and Mustang and Shelby freak. And so um, when a new collectible comes in that has something to do with that, I usually am the first one to, to uh, mob the warehouse guys, open it up and dig in and see what we got. And today I was pretty stoked because one of the cars that uh, Mustang collectors have been waiting for for a long time finally came out. And that is the 1967. Mustang notchback uh, that you see here before me. And this is a car that very famous. It's the Terlingua Racing Team car that Jerry Titus drove to the SCCA National Championship, the Trans Am Championship in 67. Um, long story behind the Terlingua Racing Team, which you guys, if you, if you just Google Terlingua Racing Team, you can see the full story, but the short story, the short version is, is that uh, Carol Shelby and automotive artist Bill Neal used to, uh, to pal around with some of their other friends in the Terlingua region of, uh, of Texas down by the Rio Grande. And, um, you know, all kinds of wild stories and legends and lore have surfaced since, uh, since those days in the early and mid-1960s. But needless to say, there was probably a lot of chili, uh, maybe some firearms, some loose women, and God knows what else probably went on with those guys back then. But it was a way for them to kick back and loosen up in between races and whatnot. Anyway, Bill Neal designs a logo for the Terlingua racing team. This is kind of a joke. And uh, the logo is the yellow yellow prancing jackrabbit logo that you see on the side of the car um, and it miraculously or, or it uh, uh, it resembles the Ferrari logo, which obviously for you guys who know your Shelby history know that there was no love loss at all between uh, Enzo Ferrari and Carroll Shelby. They, they did not like each other uh, one bit and Carroll Shelby was uh, fervent about going after Enzo in the racing series. And so, um, you know, it's probably not a coincidence that the prancing jackrabbit logo poked a little bit of fun at the prancing horse logo for the Ferraris that came out of Marinello. But um, anyway, so as a, another joke to compound on that, um, in 1960, 65, Ken Miles, um, kind of as, as, a, uh, as a homage to Shelby and Neil and his buddies, ran the Terlingua Racing Team logo on the side of one of the cars. And then that basically blew up into an entire actual racing team, which is what Jerry Titus drove in 67. And uh, Jerry Titus was kind of a cocky driver, and he wanted the car painted god-awful yellow with the black stripes and whatnot so he could be seen anywhere on the track. And that's what you got. So that's kind of a quick backstory behind the, where the Terlingua Racing Team came from. But make no mistake about it, this was a Shelby Team car that Titus drove. Uh, and, and that season, that was the second season of SCCA Trans Am. There were 12 races that season. And uh, Titus won four of them. He scored another five top fives in this car and eventually ended up winning the SCCA National Championship for Team Mustang. So it was a big deal. And uh, nobody had been making this car in die cast at all. And when Greenlight came out with their 67, 68 Mustang notch back, people started getting excited going, all right, somebody's finally going to make the Trans Am cars. And they did. Uh, this car features opening doors, uh, obviously die cast body, um, and, and good, very authentic, period correct detailing as far as the paint goes. Um, one of the things that you astute collectors will notice is that Greenlight decided to call this their racing tribute car. And the reason that they call it a tribute car is that because if you take a close look under the hood and uh, in the interior, you'll notice that it's not a 100% period correct replica of uh, the race cars of the day. They've got basically a street Mustang engine in there. Um, it is painted silver, you know, basic black and silver like many of the race cars were, but it, you know, definitely not the right air filter or you know, air cleaner assembly and, and uh, some of the other options that are on that engine were, were not the racing uh, performance equipment that were on the car. And the, the interior of the car is stock Mustang interior. Um, but overall, this is a very well executed collectible. Got awful yellow. It has the uh, you know the proper striping, the proper uh, uh, all the decaling and whatnot on the side. It has the authentic uh, American Racing um, torque thrust rims of the day, and uh, the proper Goodyear Blue Streak tires. The best part about this little collectible is that Greenlight kept the production numbers very low. Only 1,500 of these cars were made, and they're only being released through specialty stores such as GoMotorBids.com and other hobby retailers. You won't be able to find them at mass market outlets. Each one of them is individually serious on the bottom. Um, but for you Mustang and Shelby guys, you need to get them now. Um, you won't be able to get serial number 1063 because that one's coming home with me. Uh, but if you act quick, we have a handful of them available right now in our Get It News section right here on GoMotorBids.com. Uh, thanks for checking out our videos and we appreciate it.